In this video, we're going to be installing a cable management wall in an 800 wide rack. Part number 9978360. You get the cable management wall, a mounting sleeve, self tapping screws, and instructions. Now, depending on which side of the enclosure that you're going to put this, and you'll probably put two, one on either side. So the instructions say if you're going to mount it to the right side like we're doing here, the cable management wall goes all the way down and flush with the bottom of the frame. So then what I'll do is I'll take a couple self-tapping screws and then just hold this into place because the left side of this actually matches up to the frame. And you'll use the self-tapping screws to go through the cable management wall and into the frame itself. Just a couple in place to hold it right off the bat. This is what it should look like at the bottom. And you can see that we're utilizing the outside hole pattern with the slot or the tab that's at the bottom of the cable management wall. Now they give you a mounting sleeve is what I call it. It also has a tab on it that inserts in the same part of the hole pattern but at the top of the frame. And then just put your self-tapping screws into the back part of that that line up with the frame and now you have the wall installed. This is what it should look like on the outside looking at the top. Now if we're going to do this on the left side, then you kind of reverse things. So the cable management wall starts all the way at the top. And so what I'll do is just kind of hold this up with one hand, align the whole pattern on the frame, just get one or two self-tapping screws in place to hold it, and notice the bottom is going to float free down there because we'll take the mounting sleeve and we'll wrap it around the bottom and index that into the frame as well. So again, I'll just get a couple screws in place to hold it. That leaves me some freedom at the bottom. The bracket also has a small pin in it that indexes in the outside hole pattern or the slot on the outside of the frame. Line that up, make sure I can access the holes on the back side of that plate with my frame. Put in my self-tapping screws. Now you have this installed on the back side on the left. Then once I have that in place, everything is as it should be. I'll just go through the rest of the wall and fill any holes that need to be uh, attached with self-tapping screws. Again, this is what the base should look like on the left side and the top of the left. Now you've installed your cable management wall in an 800 wide rack. Thank you for viewing.